kind of that, that opportunity to kind of break free from reality. 30 minutes, an hour, two hours of just, you know, creative enjoyment as opposed to what's going on outside. We're at the Pat Tillman USO. We have paint and sip going on over here. What we're doing tonight is we're painting watercolor postcards so they can just paint it, send it back home to their family members. I was actually stationed the first part of this deployment down in Kandahar, Afghanistan. They had started a painting program down there as well. I hadn't picked up a paintbrush or done any real art since high school, which was quite a few years ago. <laughs> so it was, it was very nice when they transferred me up here to Bagram to find out that they also had painting and I could continue that escape, that creative escape. You know, I'm getting towards the end of my deployment, so I'm able to, you know, I can count down, okay, I've got like five more, you know, things I can make at the USO before we have to leave or, you know, ten more things. Maybe it's not so meaningful to make a painting when you're back at home, but when you're overseas and, you know, you can't do everything that you'd like to do, you know, it kind of makes you feel good that just a little thing like painting or something like that's going to like brighten up someone's day so much. You know, we have to spend so much time concentrating on what we're doing as far as our jobs and, you know, the what ifs. Yes, we still have to be mindful in here of any kind of alarms, but you get, for the most part, you can just kind of break free and enjoy yourself.